what should young people be thinking about? First and foremost, follow your passion. Wh whatever it is that you do, follow your passion. You know, I taught for 16 years, State University, and um, I'd have these kids come up to me and say, Dr. Meisner, <clears throat> What do you think's the, you know, like the upcoming business? The hot new the thing. The hot yeah. new thing. What should I get into? Because I taught management theory and strategic planning and, uh, you know, good. and I thought you've taught social capital. And so I was all in the business field and they'd ask me this question and I'd say, okay, well, what are you passionate about? And they'd look at me and they'd go, yeah, no, no, my question is, what's the upcoming thing? And I'd say, I hear your question, but what are you passionate about? And I remember one kid said to me, you're not listening to me. <laughs> and he said, no, no, you're not listening to me. I'm asking you what you're passionate about because when you tell me what you're passionate about, then I can think about what's upcoming that may have relevance right. to what you're passionate about. But if you pick a topic, if you pick a field, just because you think it's the field you should be in, you will fail miserably. It's not an abstract question. It really has to be answered personally. It does, and because everybody's different. And I mean, I witnessed that I witnessed that myself personally when I went through most of elementary school, junior high school, and high school, then all of my bachelor's degree with one idea in mind. I was going to be a lawyer. I went to school to study, to, to go to law school. Okay, that was my vision. I applied to law school and was accepted to law school and then said to myself, do you really want to be a lawyer? See, I had a complete two years of law school to ask that question. Did you? Yes. Well, I, and you decided not <laughs> yes, to. Yes, exactly. Well, thank goodness, yes. I stopped right at the point of of going in because I had been accepted to law school. And to this day, I can't I can't tell you. I'm a real. I'm sort of a Franklin pros and cons. Ben Franklin pros and cons. What are the pros? What are the cons? Very linear thinker in many ways. I want reasons. And to this day, I can't give you a really good reason other than I understood back then as a young man that you had to follow your passion. And I realized that for whatever reason, right now, this isn't my passion. And I can't tell you why it's not my passion, but I can tell you it is not my passion. And I went in a different direction. And I look back today and I am so happy, yeah, yeah. so incredibly happy that I didn't go in that direction. And for some people, that's a great direction to go to. So I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying it's, it didn't work for me. It's a personal question. It is, and so the, the short answer to your question is, where's your passion? You gotta follow your passion and then look for opportunities in that passion.